Today we are testing out 10, yes, you heard that right, 10 mascaras from the dollar store. These are 10 mascaras that I found at my local Dollar Tree. They range from interesting to they might be worth the dollar. And then we're gonna test out every single one of these mascaras to prove which is the best mascara at the Dollar Tree. So the first one is the Color Mates mascara. This is the only Wet n Wild that was at my Dollar Tree. This one claims that it enhances. We have two LA colors. I debated on getting just one of them, but I do want to give a full review. So one is black and one is very black. The next mascara is LA Colors Lash Building Mascara. So there's that. And the next one we have is Dramata Lash from LA Colors Mascara. And then we get to the very interesting, interesting ones. They look like they're colored mascara, but they're not. It's just the outside. And so we have four pretty cool looking LA Colors mascaras. Now they each do a different thing. So the first one, the blue. So this one is called the Wowie LA Colors. And it claims that it is for lifting the lashes. It has a curved brush and it comes in classic black. The next one is a plump. It is for LA Colors Bold Lash Mascara. It comes in the color very black and it says it has a lash defining brush. The third one is the teal one and it is a thickening lash volume LA Colors Mascara. It says that it comes in rich black and it comes with a volumizing brush. And last but not least, the purple, my favorite color. It is LA Colors Big Lash Mascara. It comes in the color Beyond Black and it comes with lengthening lash full effect brush. So it claims that it does lengthening. So that's interesting, which just really sucks because I don't need length, I need volume. But you know, that is what it is. So, that's where we're sitting. That's all 10 of these mascaras. So we're gonna get in to testing them out. So see you in just a little bit. The first one that we're gonna be trying out is the Colormates Black Paraben Free Curved Brush Mascara. This one is interesting to me because I've never used a curved brush before. So I was really interested to see if it actually does what it claims to do. Usually curved brushes mean that they'll curl your lashes a little bit better. This claims that the curved brush glides on easily, dramatizes, and defines eyes, and claims that it is waterproof. And it is definitely waterproof. This one I had no irritation on my eyes, which was great. It is very light, though there wasn't much difference. So this would be a very minimal look. I wore it for over 24 hours because I actually wore it to bed accidentally because I forgot that I had it on. But it actually didn't irritate my eyes, so that was actually pretty good. This one is not the best mascara, so I definitely wouldn't waste a dollar on it. You'll probably just end up throwing it away. The next one that I tried on was the Wet n Wild Mega Wear. It says that it creates full healthy lashes. It's in the color very black and it's supposed to enhance and define your lashes. This was light but was actually defining. I did notice more length. The brush is fantastic and it is definitely my favorite so far that I had tried. This was amazing compared to the Colormates one that I tried the first day and there was no irritation. The next two I decided to try in the same day since the only difference in them was the color. These were the LA Colors Lash in a Flash in black and very black. The black is the blue teal one and very black is the pink one. With the LA Colors Lash in a Flash black, the brush is very normal. 
Uh, there's nothing special, but it's not bad either. It's pretty mediocre. It does wipe off on the lashes though, so it's still wet. So that was a problem. It never really did dry down. For the very black, it's a slightly different formula and it's slightly darker. It does have kind of a strong odor, but I didn't see any irritation. And it is light wear, but does curl lashes. But both of the formulas, they didn't really dry down. So I ended up just taking it off because it was going to end up smearing everywhere. So these ones weren't my favorite either. I would definitely put them in the category of the color mates. The first one I tried on on the first date, just they're not great. I would not waste a dollar on those. The next one I ended up trying was the LA Colors Mascara Lash Building. It's supposed to lengthen and extend your lashes. It's in the color soft black. And it claims that it's supposed to give you more volume. It is visible but light. And it definitely did curl my lashes. And it did actually visibly lengthen the lashes as well. This one is a pretty good contender, but I wasn't like wowed by it or anything. It wasn't super amazing. So this one would kind of go in the middle for me, but you know, it's, it's pretty decent. So if you're looking for something that actually does lengthen your lashes visibly, then I would definitely go with this. The next one I tried on was the LA Colors Dramata Lash. It's supposed to be defining lashes, brush, and the color it's in is defining black. So it's pretty much, they're trying to get across to you that they're gonna define each lash and really make them stand out. It has soft coverage, but it is visible, but it's not a defining black but it is defining each lash. It does definitely lengthen them as well, but there's no clumping. So this one, I originally had put down that this was a top contender to like take on the wet and wild, enhance and define. But my husband noticed something after I put it on and we were about to leave the house for the day and it smeared everywhere. It actually never fully dried down. So that was like really disappointing because it was such a good product, but it just didn't dry down and you can't be wearing mascara. Like what if you accidentally wipe your eyes, it's going to smear everywhere. So this one, I ended up having to take it off for the day as well. And that just really killed it for me. Now we're going to get into the four colored LA colors. These ones were very interesting. They are not colored mascara, but the tubes are colored, so you can definitely tell which one is which. And they each do something different. So the first one I tried on was the LA Colors in the blue. It is called Wowie. It's supposed to lift lashes. It has a curved brush, and it's in the color Classic Black. So the curved brush does nothing. Um, I'm not sure why they always try to throw in the, hey, it's a curved brush, it's going to curl your lashes. It doesn't. Uh, no clumping. And it took over an hour to dry down, but it didn't smear. So that was good. I was able to actually at least wear it until it did dry down and then it was fine. You could see it on my lashes at least. And it's about middle grade. It's not amazing, but it's not bad. Although I did wear it for quite a long time. And so by the time I was ready to get to bed, it had started flaking off and it started to irritate my eyes. So this would be a short time wear. And it's, you know, it's okay. Like it's not a total waste of a dollar, but there are definitely other ones that are for the dollar that would be worth a dollar more. The next one I tried on was the LA Colors Bold. It's the pink one. 
It claims that it's supposed to pump lashes. It has a lash defining brush and it's in the color very black. This brush style I absolutely loved. It's a great brush style. It doesn't necessarily plump my lashes, but I like the look. My lashes look curled and very black is actually a really dark color compared to all the other colors I've tried so far. And it does show very well. It does try to transfer to my bottom lashes, but once it dried down and it did dry down quickly, it wasn't an issue. So between the Wet n Wild and Hanson Define, the LA Colors Bold is a top contender. Second to last that I tried was the LA Colors Volume. It's the green one. It claims that it's supposed to thicken lashes and it has a volumizing brush. And it's in the color Rich Black. This brush is by far my favorite. It's considered an hourglass brush, and I don't know, there's something about it that it actually like really does pick out individual lashes and get the formula on them. There is no clumping. And it did have a light transfer, but the dry down time only took five minutes. So as long as you can put it on and wait five minutes, then you're good. It's not very dark, like the rich black, but if you wanted light coverage, this would actually be perfect for you. It does stick the lashes together to create kind of a quote unquote, a thick lash. So I'm not sure if that's what they mean by thickening the lashes. The formula doesn't make your lashes thick. It clumps your lashes together to make them appear thick. But this one was pretty good. It's not a top contender, but it's one of the higher middle grade ones. And then last but not least, the LA Colors Big, and it's in the purple color. It claims to lengthen lashes. It has a full effect brush, and the color is beyond black. This brush was fantastic. It was a great brush. I think that if I had to rank the best brushes that I used was the volumizing brush, the hourglass one from the LA Colors Volume, and the lengthening brush from this one, this one was actually pretty good. My favorite though was the very thin ultimate defining brush from Dramatilash, but alas, the formula didn't really work great on that one. But these two brushes were very great. So this one, great brush, full effect brush. It's very bristly, but it doesn't really do clumping. It was amazing. The color is a dark black color. When it says beyond black, it was probably the the darkest color out of all the ones that I tried. This one does actually give a lot of length to your lashes. I was very impressed. This one does have a five minute dry down as well, and there's a light transfer. So be careful putting it on and make sure to give it the proper dry down time. No clumping, but wow, this one was like my favorite lengthening. This was super awesome. I really loved this one. I was kind of impressed. I never really thought that I needed lengthening mascara. I've always been quick to go to the full or the volume type because I feel like I have not enough lashes, but I feel like I have length. But for whatever reason, this mascara was great. I loved how it looked. It was awesome. So if you're looking for length, get this one. All right, so we're at the end of the video, the biggest part of the video, the most wanted to be known part of the video. Which ones were worth the dollar and which ones weren't? So we're gonna start with the ones that you don't wanna waste your money on at all, even though it's only a dollar. These you're just gonna to wanna to throw away. So the first one being the Colormates Curved Brush. This one, just no, don't even, don't even waste your money on it. 
And then the two LA colors in black and fairy black. These ones don't dry down. They're terrible. Just don't even don't even waste your money on those at all. Next one could have been better. Obviously, the Dramatilash. This one, if it just would have dried down, probably would have been my top contender. The mascara LA Colors lash building, it it was okay. Like it wasn't spectacular. It was eh, you know? And then the Wowie Blue, where it says that it lifts lashes. Yeah, it's it's just mascara, it doesn't do anything fantastic. They're just meh. It's the meh category. They're just, I don't know, could have been better. Next, pretty darn good for only a dollar. LA Colors Bolt, this one, pretty good for the dollar. I love the brush. It kind of does what it says it does. So it's worth the dollar. The LA Colors Volume, the volume brush. I love these two brushes and definitely in this order, this one is the lowest of the low and this is the highest of the high, getting up to the top spot. This thickens your lashes, but it does it in a different way than it does or you would think that it would. The formula doesn't thicken your lashes. It just clumps your lashes kind of together to make them appear like they're thicker lashes. And then this lash defining that it's pretty good. These are pretty darn good for only a dollar. And then of course the best of the best, which is the top picks of the Dollar Tree. The big LA colors lengthens lashes. Oh boy. Yes, it does. This one phenomenal. Love the brush. Love the color, love the formula. It's amazing. If you need to lengthen your lashes, this is the one to go for, for a dollar. And then of course, the top of the top, the most worth your bang dollar, the Wet n Wild Enhance and Define. This is amazing. This product for only a dollar, are you kidding me? If you need a quick mascara, if you only have a dollar, if you want something that's gonna do what it claims it does, if you're gonna like the brush, if you're gonna like the formula, if you're gonna like the color, this one for a dollar, get this one. This one, your go-to. If they don't have this one, go with this one. And then if you had to absolutely, you could go with the pretty darn good for a dollar, but that's, that's it, that's where we're sitting. So I'm gonna lay these out so you guys can see from the lowest all the way to the highest. Well, that's it, that's all 10 mascaras from my local Dollar Tree. If you liked this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you wanna support my channel, be part of the Panda family, go ahead and subscribe. That way you'll be notified of new videos that I do every single week. Remember, I love every single one of you guys. I hope that you have a great day and I'll see you in my next video.